Hello and welcome to the webinar on the 21 day spring detox challenge. My name is Michael Romig. The first thing I would like to talk about is the power of blood sugar stabilization. Glycogen, which is a fancy word for blood sugar, is your body's first choice for fuel. Your blood sugar should be somewhere between 80 and, 100 milli and 120 milligrams per deciliter. When your blood sugar is stable, you're able to effectively burn body fat. When your blood sugar is not stable, what happens is your blood, your blood sugar will drop and you'll either burn muscle or your blood sugar will spike and you'll, you'll store body fat. Typically what happens is people will skip a meal. Um, the most important meal of the day is breakfast. And most of the time people are skipping breakfast and as a result their blood sugar drops. And when their blood sugar drops, they start burning muscle. Uh, as a defense mechanism, their body holds on to the fat, their energy crashes, and cravings increase. And typically when cravings increase, people have a tendency to crave high car or crave carbohydrates, uh, especially the refined and processed sugars. And as a result, uh, blood sugar will spike and, and the indiv individual will start storing body fat. And this uh, cycle doesn't happen just while you're awake, but it also happens when you're sleeping at night. So it's really important to make sure that you're keeping your blood sugar in a specific range in order to burn body fat effectively. When that happens, uh, fat is released into the bloodstream where it can be absorbed by the muscle and used as energy. If you're not stabilizing your blood sugar, fat is not going to be released into the bloodstream. Um, and then, of course, if you're not activating your lean muscle tissue, you're not going to be able to burn body fat effectively. Meal timing. Uh, ideally, on the 21-day detox, you should strive to eat three meals a day and avoid snacking. The reason for this um, is to make sure that you're giving your body enough time to, uh, to uh, for your digestive system to function properly and also for your leptin levels to normalize. Um, the only exception to this would be if you're involved in high-intensity exercise. If you're involved in the metabolic resistance training, we do recommend that you, you eat at least an AM snack. Um, and you may also have to eat a PM snack as well. But uh, ideally, during the 21-day detox, we would like you to eat uh, just the three meals to help, uh, to help with uh, your digestive system and to help uh, normalize your leptin levels. So it really starts by managing your blood sugar. Uh, hormonal imbalance, imbalances start when you consume too many carbohydrates. And when you consume too many high carbohydrates, your, your uh, glucose levels are going to increase, which your insulin levels are going to go up, and then there's this whole chain of hormonal fluctuations that take place as a result. When you consume too many carbohydrates, um, you're also, uh, and this also leads to uh, excess uh, triglycerides in the bloodstream, which uh, promote lipton resistance in the brain. And this is really important because lipton is a hormone that tells your brain you're full. And when you're lipton resistant, uh, lipton resistance means that your brain is not hearing the lipton message and thinks that you're starving. Um, we've also talked a lot about the stress hormone cortisol. When your cortisol levels are chronically uh, elevated, this will also increase your blood sugar. And as a result, uh, you'll start storing body fat. When your insulin levels increase, cortisol levels are going to increase. And thyroid levels are actually going to decrease. A lot of people are being misdiagnosed with hypothyroidism, and it really starts just by uh, stabilizing your blood sugar. When uh, when your blood sugar is not stable or your cortisol levels are high or your uh, uh, thyroid is low, as a result, there's a, there's a fluctuation in your sex hormones, estrogen, uh, testosterone, and progesterone. A couple of uh, lifestyle modifications that you need to take into consideration. If you're exercising, we highly encourage you to keep uh, exercising. It, uh, one of the things that's extremely important during the detox is to make sure that you're journaling. Uh, keep track of your progress and your experiences while you're, while you're going through the detox. If you start to get um, a headache or start to experience some of the symptoms that are normal on the detox, 
take a detox bath, and we recommend that you do that at least two to three times a week. Week. That'll also help uh, help you remove any uh, toxins and impurities out of your system. And then also, it's important to avoid as many environmental toxins as possible. Uh, one of the uh, toxins that we, uh, or one of the things you can do that we talked about in the workshop is just uh, removing something as simple as removing fabric softener. Just by changing the seventh generation, uh, that can help uh, remove a lot of uh, toxins and impurities that you uh, that you come in contact with every day. So here's what to expect during the 21-day detox. Uh, day one through seven, you know, you're probably going to feel worse before you start feeling better. Uh, common symptoms are headaches, flu-like symptoms, uh, fatigue, and even constipation. Uh, at about day eight through 14, that's when you're actually going to start feeling better. You'll notice that you'll, you'll, you have more energy and you'll start to sleep better at night. And then by day 15 through 21, um, more than likely, you'll have more energy, you'll have the mental focus and clarity that you've been looking for, you'll be able to get into that deep REM sleep, and you should notice that a lot of your symptoms uh, should dis subside or disappear completely. So some of the things that are important to avoid during the detox, uh, grains, sugar, alcohol, caffeine, legumes, dairy, food additives, and protein powder. Uh, these are some, some of the things we talked about in depth during the uh, workshop but it's important that you make sure you're eliminating uh, these particular food items in order, to, in order to ensure that you're removing all the toxins and impurities you possibly can from your diet and to help, uh, to help determine if you have any type of inflammatory response or allergies to any of these particular foods. So what should you be eating during the detox? Uh, really simple. Make sure you're eating a quality protein, which if you're eating a quality protein, quality protein, you're also going to be taking in uh, enough fat. Uh, fat is your friend. The, uh, you should be taking in roughly 35, upwards of 55% fat while you're on uh, the 21-day detox. Uh, you also want to make sure you're taking in at least six to eight servings of vegetables every day and two to three servings of fruit. Um, please make sure you're drinking enough water. In order to determine exactly how much water you should be drinking, uh, some Simplistically speaking, you can just take half your body weight, and that's approximately how many ounces you should be taking in. But the best way is to take your body weight and multiply it by 66%, and that'll tell you exactly how many ounces of water you should be drinking every day. And then make sure that you're uh, using se uh, seasonings, uh, low sodium, uh, uh, or organic uh, chicken, beef, or vegetable broth, and then black and white pepper, salsa, or even sea salt. Uh, those are some simple things you can do just to add flavor to your foods. The U.S. Uh, Department of Agriculture has stated that less than 1% of American, Americans consume all the micronutrients they need on a daily basis. What this means is that we all should be uh, supplementing to make sure that we're getting all of the vitamins and minerals we need every day. The problem is, is that the uh, uh, supplement in industry is not regulated by the FDA. So it's really difficult to determine exactly um, whether or not you're, uh, you're consuming a good supplement. There's a couple of supplements that we do recommend for this program. If you're currently taking supplements, uh, we recommend that you continue to take those. Uh, but we also want to make sure that you're looking for a manufacturer, uh, manufacturer that's reputable, that, that follows uh, GMP, uh, GMP guidelines, that stands for Good Manufacturing Practices, and ensure that the purity, the potency, and the delivery mechanisms of that particular product are there. There are a couple supplements that we recommend. The first one is a multivitamin. The second one is flaxseed oil. The third one is psyllium husk. The fourth one is a probiotic. Uh, the fifth one is 5-HCP. The sixth one is L-glutamine. The seventh one is uh, branched-chain amino acids. And uh, a shake that we recommend is the Nature's Plus Source of Life Energy Shake. With a multivitamin, a good multivitamin, you're going to be taking it at intervals throughout the day. You should take it at least at breakfast and dinner, but ideally at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. With the flaxseed oil, uh, I, with an omega complex in general, we recommend that you take upwards of 3,000 milligrams a day. So you could take 1,000 milligrams at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. The psyllium husk, we're recommending that you, uh, 
that you take first thing in the morning. You can take a couple of tablespoons, mix it with two to eight ounces of water, and drink it first thing in the morning. With a probiotic, we recommend that you take a, either 50 to 100 milligrams either first thing in the morning or 50 milligrams in the morning, 50 milligrams in the, in the evening. The 5-HTP, the L-glutamine, and the branched-chain amino acids are supplements that we recommend to help with the cravings. The 5-HTP, you can take 50 uh, to 100 milligrams first thing in the morning. And with the L-glutamine, follow the recommendations, um, but you can take that before your workout and after your workout or uh, during your AM snack time or your PM snack time. In the branch chain amino acids, you can do the same thing as the L-glutamine. Now, we do recommend that you just consume three meals a day, but if you are working out, we recommend that you continue to work out, and that's where you would use the Nature's Plus Source of Life Shake or the uh, Montevi Reveal Shake. And that way, you're, we're ensuring that you're getting more of those micronutrients and you're also getting some more calories uh, so that you're able to uh, able to effectively burn body fat while you're working out. That's really all that I wanted to talk about. If you have any questions or concerns, please uh, please go to uh, www.facebook.com forward slash pgfit21daydetox uh, and, and post your questions uh, or comments online. Uh, but at this time, I would like to open it up to any questions or comments that you have.